Needily is about to play a game at the county fair. Dinner plates are mounted on a wall, and the goal is to break as many as possible by throwing a spear. This is a fascinating game. Nidalee gets unlimited throws, but there is a one-minute time limit. For each plate she breaks, Nidalee receives two tokens. It costs five tokens to play the game. For Nidalee to gain tokens, the following inequality must be true. P is the number of plates that Nidalee breaks. In which situations will Nidalee gain tokens? So first, let's just think about what this is saying. So two times the number of plates Nidalee breaks. So that is, so in order for her to gain tokens, she has to earn more tokens than she's spending. And she's going to get two tokens for per plate she breaks. So this is the number of tokens she's going to get, two times p, two for each plate she breaks. But then she had to use five tokens to play the game. And so if you subtract that out, as long as this whole thing is greater than zero, and this whole thing is only going to be greater than zero if 2p is greater than 5, if she earns more tokens than she spends, then yes, she gains tokens. So let's think about these scenarios and, and think about which of these will she gain tokens in. So what happens if she breaks one plate? Well, she's going to gain 2 times 1 tokens from breaking plates, but she will have used 5. So she actually would have a loss of 3. This right over here would be negative 3. Negative 3 is definitely not greater than 0. So that doesn't work out. If she breaks 2 plates, well, 2 plates, if she breaks 2 plates 2 times 2, she'll get 4 tokens from breaking the plates, but she still had to use up 5. That's not a good situation for her. On the left-hand side over here, we'll have a negative 1. Negative 1 is clearly not greater than 0, but you can even reason through that in your head. If she only gets 4 tokens from breaking 2 plates and she has to use up 5, she didn't gain tokens. What happens if she breaks 3 plates? Well, then she'll earn 6 tokens. She only uses 5, so she'll have a net 1 token, which is she gained plates. She gained tokens. It's greater than 0. So this one works out. And without even thinking about it, every time she breaks more plates, she gets more tokens. And if she's already, it already made sense at three plates, it's definitely going to make sense at six plates. But you could work it out. Two times six is 12. She gets 12 from breaking. Then she uses up five. She gets a net of seven. And of course, a net of seven is much better than zero. It's greater than zero. And so that one also works.